Hello everyone and welcome to a new tutorial for Icon Scout. My name is Dan and today I'm going to show you how you can create these beautiful perspective screen mockups using Figma, Vectory and of course the assets for Icon Scout. So are you guys ready? Let's begin. Okay, cool. So let's start in Figma. And as you can see, we have this beautiful, you know, a screen mockup and this is very simple to do it. The first thing we will do is to come to Vectary and you need to create an account. But before that, you know, just take note of this and I will leave the URL. So you need to actually create a token. So Vectary, you know, can talk with your Figma file. For that, it's very simple. You go to the home icon and over here, click in your login and select settings. In settings, you will come to personal access tokens. And over here, you know, just need to create a token. Since I already have the Vectory Studio token, so I don't have to create a new again, a new one. But if you didn't do it, you know, these are the steps. They are very simple to do it. So once you did this, you will be able to copy the frames from your Figma file and paste it into Vectory. And this is very simple. So let's go back to Figma and I will go back to my file. And over here, you will see that we already create this frame. So as you can see, we have this frame and inside this frame, we have all these different cards and we will leave the link of the Figma file in the description. So don't worry about it. So the only thing you need to do is actually select this frame, right click, go to copy and select copy link. There you go. Make sure that you have on the clipboard. And now let's go back to Vectory. So in Vectory, we can create a new project. And right now Vectory has a new version, Vectory Studio Beta. This is so amazing. And all the things that you can do in Studio Beta, oh, it's crazy. So in this case, it's asking you if you would like to continue with, with Vectory Studio Beta and you say, of course. And, you know, it's very helpful. You have different templates, but in our case, we'll start with a blank frame. There you go. So as you can see, we start from scratch. And the only thing we need to do is to hit Command V. So in this case, it's not working. And probably, you know, there's still some things that they are fixing, but there's one workaround for this. We can create like a plane and we'll delete this plane, but it's, it's necessary to create it. So we can, you know, have the workaround. So just select over here in color and instead of solid, choose Figma frame. There you go. And over here is where you can paste the Figma frame. If you didn't create the token in Figma, so probably you will have like a message here, like, Hey, you need to create a token, but once you will do it, it's easy. So as you can see, we have the plane with the Figma frame, but this is not actually what we are looking for because it doesn't have the transparency. Uh, in this case, you know, since you already created, you just need to put common V and this will bring the frame that you copy. So yeah, it's a workaround. You need to create a plane and put the Figma there. Uh, you know, I was just testing. That's how I, I figure out that it's working, but now we don't need this plane. So we just can delete it. And over here, we will use this layer. So right now this is very simple. You know, we can put it over here, something like this, play a little bit with the perspective, maybe something like this. Yeah, exactly. And also we can reduce its size to the half. So 0 0.5, there you go. Nice. Okay. I love it. So now, you know, we can add some background. So over here, probably we can add some backdrop. There you go. And we can add some color to the backdrop. So this is very simple. Like Figma, you know, you click on color for the backdrop and maybe we can choose some purple, maybe something like this. Yeah. Something vibrant. There you go. I love it. And as you can see, we have our perspective and now, you know, let's add some 3d elements. So if you subscribe to icon scout, this is very simple. They have tons of assets and very cool 3d elements. So you click here and select 3d illustrations. And over here we can look for abstract. There you go. So we have, you know, different collections of abstract elements in 3d. I really love this one. And make sure to select the OBJ file because this one is compatible with Vectory. It's downloading now. And until it will download, you know, we'll just go back to Vectory. 
And now that is done, so what we'll do is to just drag and drop uh, this icon scout asset. So drag and drop it over here. And it has like, you know, uh, telling you like probably it has too many polygons, make sure, blah, blah, blah. You say, don't worry about it, continue anyway. So the next thing it will ask you is like, you know, you want that it can fit the object. So in this case, you say yes, because if you select keep original, probably, you know, the original asset is, is bigger, you know, related to what you have already here, or maybe it will be smaller. But in this case, if you hit fit object, it will try to make it, you know, very similar to the frame that you already have here. Okay, cool. So now we have our 3D assets. And the nice thing in Vectory is that actually it divides in the same way as Figma, you know, by layers. So we have our big spare over here and we just can play with it a little bit, maybe over here. And, you know, we can do the same thing for each one of the spheres. So this one, maybe over here. And we also can select all of them and reduce their size. Maybe something like this. Cool. And, you know, just one by one, we can place it in order. So this again is, is super simple, you know, select any of the assets and place it a little bit to the right or a little bit to the left. I mean, this is totally up to you. Okay, nice. So once you will be happy with all the different spheres that you have, as you can see, all 3D, you can also add some colors to them. So in this case, you need to add one by one. And what we need to do is just select any of them, come to color, and then with the color picker, we can choose probably something similar to the background. So as you can see here, and then, you know, again, for example, I will select this other one and I will just follow the same process. So yeah, these are some of the things, you know, that I think having the 3D assets from Icon Scout and put it like in Vectory also, they're really, really cool. So, okay, I will just continue with this and I will just fast forward this part. Okay, cool. So now, now that we are done, the only thing probably just to give some detail, you know, and probably some reflection to the spheres, it will be to add some lighting. So over here, I'll select this one. There you go. And as you can see, you know, we just can place the lighting this way and maybe turn it exactly to the front. There you go and maybe put it a little bit back. So as you can see, we have the lighting here and you, you see the reflection of the light, which is a rectangle light over here, which I think is really cool. Okay, nice. So as you can see, we have, you know, our perspective mockup. Yeah, this is really cool. And once you're happy, with the art, the last thing you need to do is to click on this button. So this will take like a sort of screenshot of what you see on the viewport. And this screen is what you will use here in Figma again. I already prepared my small mockup. And the only thing I will do is to drag and drop the screenshot that I took. I will just reduce its size. Yeah, something like this. There you go. Yeah, this is looking really nice. And then I will put it to the back. Cool. So I think we took like five minutes to do this, but you know, I'm telling you, the power of Figma, Vectory, and Icon Scout is infinite. So this is the end of the video, guys. If you have any comments or questions, please let us know. And don't forget to subscribe, give us the thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.